Hello everyone, this is Dr. Greg again uh, with uh, another video. Um, this is actually part two from the other video about the research of exercise and, and memory and brain health in older, older adults. I wanted to uh, continue on this theme so we find out what kind of exercises are good for you and how easy or how hard is it to keep your brain healthy. So continuing on with this research, the evidence supports the positive effect of combining variety of exercises. We all know what aerobic exercise is and resistance exercise. So in other words, lifting weights. That, those two combined with mind-body exercises have the most uh, impactful uh, results in terms of several factors in terms of your brain health. Um, when following the exercise combination of these three, it helps with attention, processing speed, executive function, and memory. So it's aerobic exercise, resistance exercise, and mind-body. When I talk about mind-body, I'm talking about yoga, tai chi, qigong, those types of things. I'm sure many of you have heard of those types of stuff. The combining of those three have a big impact. Now, I'm going to talk about how frequent these should be and where they should be and what types they should be in other videos. I'm not stopping uh, talking about this. I think this is one of the most important research papers that's come out in a long time because Alzheimer's, dementia, old age, all that type of, all those problems that we're having are in epidemic proportions. And anything you can do to help you uh, sort of get your brain as healthy as possible as you age would be beneficial not only to you, but to your family and to society as a whole. Um, now, we've got to talk a little bit about the intensity of the exercise. Now, everyone says, well, I go for a walk or this, this that, or the other thing. What's interesting is that the com combination, again, aerobic resistance and mind-body is, is extremely beneficial and has the most impact. Now, they also looked at the intensity of the exercise. How hard is the exercise? How hard are you working? And they discovered that, some have discovered that high intensity and moderate intensity is the best. Okay. Now, other researchers said low intensity exercise can also be beneficial. So it doesn't necessarily have to be high intensity or moderate intensity, but low intensity exercises like yoga, qigong, Tai Chi, those types of exercises can also be beneficial. But what I'm saying is that a combination of them are beneficial. So when I say high intensity, high intensity to what you think is high intensity. So if you're 70 years old and your version of high intensity exercise is walking up a flight of stairs, then that is high intensity exercise, okay? If you're 20 years old, but you have to do a, a 20 mile run, that is a high intensity exercise. So it's all gated or rated to how, what kind of health you're in. We all have to start somewhere. And if, you're, if you've never done exercise before and if, if, if high intensity sounds scary to you, it doesn't mean you have to go kill yourself. What it means is that it's high intensity to where you are at, at this stage in your life. So, um, so the bottom line here is that any kind of exercise is beneficial. When we retire, when we get older, we tend to slow down. We tend to not do things. We tend to sit on the couch and watch TV or look at our computer. We tend to look at our phones too much. We are sedentary. Now, this was never a problem a couple hundred years ago because we basically walked everywhere or we did physical things. We don't do that anymore. And what happens is your body starts to say, well, he doesn't have, you, you don't have to do that, that hard work anymore. So the brain starts saying, well, the heck with it. The start, brain starts to get degenerative problems, starts losing its memories, its attention. It doesn't have to think as fast. So all those things can be helped and reduced if you fit in exercise in your life. As far as I'm concerned, everyone should be exercising. Everyone. Especially in this modern age we have, we're not, any, you know, no one's exercising as much as they should be. And I'm talking about lifetime exercise, daily exercise, all day exercise. That's what's important. And we're going to talk about what you can do in other videos. I still want to sort of, I'm selling 
the fact that you, you have to resign yourself to say that, yeah, exercise has to happen all the time, every day, all day long. This is Dr. Greg, changing the way we look at health.